Hola, como vai amigos? My name is Arturo and I am trying to become a Brazilian hero. Well, as predicted, we are indeed in the quarterfinal of the Paraná State Championship and into the second leg we go against Paraná, the one team I really did not want to face. That's a lie, I probably didn't want to face off against Curitiba or Atletico Paranaense either. But Paraná, not exactly a, uh, a, a good club to face off against either. Uh, we did unfortunately lose to Operario, so our second attempt at a undefeated season was sadly scuppered, but still, one loss in uh, two seasons. Pretty good for the Paranasi Championship, so that bar has easily been hopped over. Now the question is, can we turn it around against Parana? Because, as you may recall, we're expected to reach the semis. So, that's a thing. We shouldn't have any problem reaching the second round against uh, Desportiva in the Brazilian Cup. The first round went swimmingly well for us. Domination up and down the park. Uh, there was the unfortunate part where we outshot them 23 to 5 and only scored once. That part I'm not so happy with. The eight clear cut chances with one. Goal. That does not make me happy either. Now, I will admit that I did feel a very much a weak inside for the sole purpose of having my best first choice 11 ready to go, full health, full fitness, with the exception of Jumar, who was suspended, against Paraná. And in that sense, we got the 1 0 win, and that's great, but I need my first team ready. I need my first 11 because we lost. Badly, 3-1 in the first leg. Celzinho kicking it off at the 10th minute with a nice goal. But then Dalton, Taguinho, and Lucio Flavio. Three unanswered goals to put us in a very pet position for the second leg. So we need two goals. We need to win by two. If we can get a 2 0 win at home, I will be thrilled. Maybe go to penalties, maybe win it on away goals. I'm not 100% sure of the tiebreakers here, but regardless, we got to turn this around first before we can think about winning. And that's what we need to do. Because uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm not exactly thrilled at the thought of going uh, <laughs> going out in the quarterfinal. That does not exactly make me a happy camper. It does not. Before we get too far into today's episode here, I do want to read off a comment on YouTube from the last Brazilian hero. That being episode number, I believe it was nine or eight. Regardless of what number it was, uh, the question is from John Churchman. Whilst managing in Brazil, I noticed nearly all clubs are in debt due to state loans. How big is my loan and when do the payments end? Also, currently managing in Fortaleza, how are they doing on your save? Thank you for the question, John. Let's take a look. First of all, Fortaleza and see what they are doing here. Fortaleza. There they are. They're currently fourth in the uh, Sierra State Championship. Look at the competitions they're also involved in at the senior level. Looks like they are up against Tom Bense. Ooh, that's a rough, rough first round. Or that's the second round for them. First leg. Very nice. Uh, so they made it through to the second round at least. Uh, Northeast Regional Championship. Up in Santa Cruz. They're currently in their semifinal first leg against Ferroviaro. After finishing uh, what I would assume they were predicted to finish first. Ooh, and they only finished fourth. Not so good. Uh, and in the National 3rd Division, which we will be going up against them, uh, how did they do last year? Well, last year they did... Uh, uh, where are Fortaleza? Where the heck are they? Ah, there where they are. They were 3rd. 3rd in Group A. 4 points off. I'm getting promoted. Not too shabby. But I'll bet you they're going to want to do better the next time around. So that's how they're doing. Thank you for the question, Churchman. Mr. John Churchman with that question on YouTube. Now, there are some other things to look at here with this squad before we get into today's match. As you can see here, Anderson Lent, he's on his way out. We're going to shed some of that salary. It's not much. We've got a pittance of a transfer fee back in, but we get him off the books. Which is nice, because we still need to shed plenty of salary. 7,000 left. Gotta keep going. So to figure out what we're going to do, I have it. We're going to find a succession plan. And to that end, I've been looking at trialists. Lots and lots of player trials. Anytime you want to load that up, thank you. 
Mika, Stuart Garcia, Eddie Velton, Clitinho, Carlinho, Swendel, Patrick Silva, Dede, Escobar, Milton Jr., and Giparana. Lots of great looking names and great looking players, it must be said. Fine talents, generally speaking, but they all want money, money that I can't afford to pay them, and so our depth remains. Thin. Not good. Giparana is still the last one on deck. I don't think he's going to sell for what we can afford to pay him until we shed some salary. Germano's salary will be coming off the books at the uh, in May, I believe. Yes, May 10th. Alan Vieira will be gone. May 30th, Germano is off the books. So we will shed some salary. Uh, I did manage to get Nielsen to re-sign for his exact same salary. A reward for good play. I think he's deserved it, uh, even though, for some bizarre reason, I started him in nearly every game this season, and he said he didn't like his increase in first-team soccer, so go figure. Also, this, I swear, is bugged, because reach a points target, we haven't done that yet, and we've already succeeded. So, I don't know what's going on with this, I really don't. Uh, but hopefully it figures itself out soon, because that's, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, one final thing to note on the transfer front here, and that is Mikeon has been courted, as you saw in the promises there, by bigger clubs. He wants to leave, and I, I have promised him he will go if a bigger club makes him an offer worth my time. The offer that was sent in last time was just pitiful. Not sending him out for peanuts. I'll bring players in for that. I'll pay him peanuts. But I will not sell for peanuts if I can get away with it. Obviously couldn't get away with it with Anderson Lit, but hey, he's off the books, and that's fine by me. So let's get into it. Having done a full squad rotation, we gotta make two goals up in this home leg. Nothing else for it here. You're starting 11. Josiel, Annette, Maicon, Italo, Silvio, and Jardiel, Anderson Lit, and Diogo Roque in the middle, Celzinho, Edmar, Netinho up front, and Nielsen striking. Got Carlos Vitar as our 12th sub here. Just needed to fill the ranks. I don't have anybody else worth pulling in, either from the junior ranks or the reserves. Or the empty reserves as it is. Patrick, sadly, out for the, with a strained neck. He'll be back, assuming that we get through this round. Daniel Amarim, however, still working on recovering from a pulled hamstring. Injuries have not been our friend. Suspensions actually have been a lot better about, though. We'll see how that uh, plays out once we get into the third division proper. See how many games we lose to suspension there. Teams are warming up. Uh, six to four, huh? Well, that would be nice if we can get the win, though the pundits say they'll be able to build on their two goals from the first leg. Well, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? Now, what does Juninho say? Oh, I like this. I've gone in from Juninho before, as you know. I love Pedrinho Maradona's just hit him all on the ankle strategy. Uh, Juninho, my goalkeeping coach, has been a little more even-handed. He likes to mix it around a bit. So I'm going to go to him for advice, and it seems to be working out okay for us. I mean, hey, only one loss in the season. Finishing in fourth, pretty good. It's not, you know, top two or in an undefeated season, but whatever. Alright, go out there and impress me, guys. We need a two-goal win. And it's going to be difficult. Let's see if we can do it. Laundry not home in their lovely teal kits. But an on their red and white. Two goals needed. At the Stadio de Café. Can Londrina find them? The fact that we are letting Barana challenge us early on is up to them with confidence. And Dino puts it right at Josiel 30 seconds into the match. And that's not good. Oh, Diogo Rock's already knocking people over. Isn't that nice? And Silvio's knocking people over. Four minutes in, our first yellow card goes to Silvio. That's not what you would call a good situation. Though we do have a couple shots on goal now, which is nice. Nothing on target. They weren't blocked either, so that's something. Yeah, but I'm not liking this though. Um... Yeah, I, I agree. We may need to be a little... Oh, we're already staying on feet, so I don't know what more you want. I'm a little caution to remove stay on feet? Well, alright. You say so. Nielsen, though, was broken over the top. And he hits it right into the crowd. Because, you know, why go around the defenders when you can just try and break their shins with a shot? 
It's not like they wear shin guards or anything. Oh, wait, yes, they do. Come on, Nielsen. And I'm probably going to blame Nitinho for that as well, just because. So, Nitinho now. Looking long. There's another ball for Nielsen. Now he's got some space. And he absolutely wastes it, putting it into orbit. So, if we can keep hitting him on the calendar, let Nielsen get in behind the line. That works out well for us. Shadiel, who's at times been courted, or at least sniffed at by other teams, so has Jumar. He's still with us. Which works fine by me. Nitinho stops that attack. Tries to build up. Nitinho again. Edmar. Serzinho. The shadows finally render on the stadium. Serzinho. Anderson Light. Edmar. Serzinho. Blocked. All that work just to stand next to the defender and crank it at him. You know, guys, if you're going to pass it around like that, at least, you know, take the shot when you're in space. Don't pass it to a guy in coverage and have him crank it. It doesn't work. Okay, that power mark's still down by two goals. At least we're performing well. The midfield in particular, Cezinho, Edmar, Netinho, doing very well indeed. See if we can't keep that going. Oh, no, that's going to be Dugarok with a card. Lovely. Ray and Germano, my options to fill that hole off the bench. Though I may just drop Dugarok entirely. And put on uh, Valmir to sit up next to Nielsen on top. Indeed, we do need... Uh, we need goals, and we're not going to get them this way. Yep. Looks like we're going to have to go for it. All right, boys, come on. Revenge, the great motivator, and they're sort of going for it. All right. So we'll pull Diogorok, and we'll bring on Valmir. And for that, we'll move him up top. Now, what is your best role there, Mr. Valmir, as a poacher? Lovely. Which is good, because that means Nielsen can play target man like he prefers. But I'm going to make an attacking target man. It's got so much congestion up there. Edmar can also drop deep into here and play well. I'd prefer to have him up front. But it might be good to link play together. Yeah, we'll try that. And our son will also go as a deep-lying playmaker in support. We'll see if that helps. Alright guys, show me goals please. Diogo Rook off at the half. Velmir on. Can the youngster who's been uh, basically stuck with the U-20s. Can he make an impact here in a very important game? Well, perhaps. Chance at the Parana net. We need two goals here guys. Two goals. Edmar. He's capable of magic. Serzinho, Nielsen, Maicon, first time cross. Nielsen! Beautiful goal! Oh, lovely. Maicon is still here. And thank goodness that he is. Lovely ball. Nielsen breaks the coverage. It's a left footed volley. No chance for the keeper. 1 0 on Drina, 3 2 on aggregate. Now we gotta hold we gotta hold that lead in this match and keep going. Can't afford to slack off or let things like this happen. Thankfully Italo does well to break that up. And Mycon with the educated cross last time. Does he have another one? Oh he does! Valmir! That was an atrocious header from the youngster. Got ahead to it, which is great, but son, you gotta keep those down. Put him on target. You know, maybe even you know right in front of you, where there's a, you know some net. I'll try and go cross the face of goal when the keeper's on the wrong side. All right. Dino. 
to give you a good defending my mic on and just see how get things restarted. Angelo, Guga, Rafael Gava, all options. I may pull Anderson late and bring on one of my midfielders and just really clog that uh that attacking presence up. It's gonna be an, it's all out attack. I mean, we need goals. We can worry about not conceding later. Well, we may not have to if they continue to shoot that poorly. Netinho, Michael, he's on side. Little step inside, he's got space saved by Marcos. Hey, why not take the shot yourself if you're at point blank range? Natinho having a great game. Earned a goal, you might think. But sadly not. Valmir chasing after that one, he gets there. Good job by the youngster. Italo. Edmar. I'm holding off on that sub because if we get an equalizing goal here, I don't want to pull off my last defender. No, but we got to now, though. Hasn't happened. Whoops. Hasn't happened, so it'll be Anderson Lit coming off. I could push Natinho up. He's more of a winger. No, I'd rather have uh, Guga come on. Get the youngster on as a playmaker. Make stuff happen. All right, youngster. Make it happen. Oh, that's Idmar getting a stern talking to. And a yellow card. More than just a talking to. At least Lit made an appearance before his transfer. Netinho. Silvio tried to run on near post, couldn't get there. Second effort. Edmar. Nilsson! Oh, and Guga rolled it wide, but it deflected out. Nilsson at point blank range. You'd put money on him to score from there. Lucio Flavio clears it. Sardinio. Back to Nettino. Cleared by Mateus Magro. Double substitution. Right. I really want to see because Edmar is the only uh, somewhat defensive midfielder. Everyone else is in full attack mode here. As we look for that second goal to equalize. Nettino. Valmir! Save by Marcos! That was a good shot by Valmir. I was worried he wasn't going to pull the trigger. But he did. And now so will I. Natinho has been fantastic. But he hasn't got it done. Valmir, again. Well, he, he came on as a sub, so I can't really blame him for that. Uh, Zinho, though, is getting gassed. So I think my final roll of the dice is to bring on Angelo. As an inside forward. Slash uh, attacking midfielder. He's also listed as an advanced playmaker, which I find hilarious. So many playmakers on this team. Mm -hmm. Any people who can finish. Alright, Angelo. Italo trips him. Lovely. That's great. All right, we kind of need to go for here. Oh, good. He's penalized by a trip on Nielsen. Take more risks, guys. We got to get there. We got to get there. Daniel Zinho's penalized. Is it going to be a card? It is. We got to go for it. It's all or nothing. I mean, the 1-0 win is nice, but the 3-1 loss in the first leg is not. Little back pass there. Jan gets it over the middle. But not past Italo. Is there something here? It's a long ball. Angelo will have to run there. Can't get their hit of Brunner. Brunner is being pressured heavily to get that ball forward. So many players in teal shirts in the attacking area. Dorguinho. Danielzinho. Lucio Flavio. Itinho. Josiel had to be good there. They've abandoned their defensive stance. Well, good, please. You think you smell blood? You want to come in for the killing blow? Just, uh, just try it. Here comes the counter. Mykon goes long. Valmir. Good tackle there. It's out for a throw. Shots 13 to 7. Favor of Londrina. Do we have it? Brought down is Nielsen. No call. 
I'd argue there's a card in there somewhere. Natinho. Cross goes nowhere. Indeed, he loses out. Daniel Zinho. Lucio Flavio. Chase down. Gets the ball away to Tiguinho. Lucio Flavio. Banks it off in for a corner. That should be the game. They can just stand on the ball and milk this thing for all it's worth. We had chances. Can't say we didn't. And unless there's a miracle goal in the offing here, how did that go through like eight people and no one put their foot on it? If it wasn't over before. It is now. See, I just kill seconds and there it is. Londrina get the win, but not the series. That was a good performance. They just sadly could not find that second goal. Sadly was not to be. 13-7 the shots. Lost the possession game. Which is unfortunate. Bias towards the visitors. Well, that's a... Uh, that would be nice to think about. The ref lost it for us. Sure. Oh, Cortatibo over Rio Branco. 10-0 on aggregate. Oh. At Letico Paraniense, just no mercy for the Cid Norte. Indeed, the only lower seed in the <laughs> to go through was Paraná. Whoops, my bad. And Curitiba are through. Operario, blah, blah, blah. Coutinho impresses. Yeah, that's unfortunate. However, we still have... Brazilian Cup, in which we will get a second round, barring a complete and total collapse against Desportiva. And we also have to get ready for the all-important third division. That will be next time on Brazilian Hero. My name is Arturo. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell all your friends about these videos. And don't forget to join us in Twitch chat. Twitch.tv slash Arturo is where all these episodes are recorded live. Once again, my name is Arturo. I'm trying to become... A Brazilian hero. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.